Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Secrets and Tips videos for Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. As always, we're going to be finding all of the treasure chests. I'm going to show you all of the bee locations and the elusive black chest, including the hellhole. On today's episode, we're going to be going through the Citadel Approach, which has five bees, six chests, and one black chest with a hellhole. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. The first treasure chest in this level is hidden above this spike tower here with the eyeball in it. What you want to do is stand on the platform to the left of that tower, wait till it goes to the very bottom, and then shoot the base of the tower three times. That'll make the chest appear above the tower. Once you get to this part with the first plant creature, you'll be able to unlock the next bee. Just jump past these platforms to that bigger one on the right. The bee will show up, but be ready to chase it down as it takes off. This is where we're going to get the next bee and the next treasure chest, just after the banner of rebirth. The next platform Arthur jumps onto will shoot up to the second floor, and once it comes all the way back down and lowers into the spikes, the chest will appear on the left hand side of that gap. But if you jump up onto the right hand side of the gap, you'll also make a B appear on the left hand side. Check it out. After you pick up that bee and chest, head back up to the second floor. It's the middle part here where the fire comes out of the ground that you'll be able to collect the next bee. Once you get to the end of this area where the banner of rebirth is, you're going to want to be on the second floor. These branches are going to give out when you step on them, and you'll start sliding down them. When you get to the very bottom of this branch, make sure you jump. If you time it right, you'll reveal another chest. When you find yourself riding this giant caterpillar, we're going to be able to pick up another chest. Head to the front end of the caterpillar, and when you get to the spike wall at the end, shoot it three times to reveal the chest above you. Now right after you defeat the caterpillar, you're going to have your opportunity to pick up the next bee and reveal the black chest. You'll have to move quick though because when the chest appears you need to break it open and kill the dirty magician inside, wait for the screen to shake, and then you'll know the hellhole is unlocked. Check it out. Now that we've taken care of the Dirty Magician, i backed up a little bit so you can see where the hellhole entrance is. We're going to start from that chest that was impossible to find. In this next part, we're going to find our last two treasure chests and the final B. It can be a little difficult to navigate though, so I'll show you how to get there from the Banner of Rebirth.
This is where you're going to find the first treasure chest in this area, in the top left hand corner. Once I jump up onto the next platform, the chest will reveal itself above me. And this is where we're going to find the final bee. As soon as I step underneath this guillotine on the right, the bee is going to appear on the left. Shooting the wall in front of Arthur three times will reveal the final chest in this area. And as always, there's going to be one more treasure chest once you get to the boss fight. You'll unlock it as soon as you walk in the room. And that's going to do it for today's secrets and tips video on Ghost and Goblins Resurrection, The Citadel Approach. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey.